All right, well, we all like to use our imagination. Sometimes I use my imagination. I pretend to be a monster. I chase my kids around because I'm big. I'm sorry, I know I'm being so f***ing uncharitable for pa by pausing for dramatic effect here, but Matt Walsh is such a creepy, weirdo, paleocon dude that I feel like I'm justified in doing this. <laughs> So, I heard Matt Walsh came out with a kid's book, and this is the classic conservative thing to do. First of all, because conservatism and are uh, closely linked, biologically, it's in the brain. Sorry, it's facts. Science. Read a book. And secondly, because the conservative propaganda lands best with kids. It just, it resonates most with them. It's, you know, soup brain to soup brain. But kids have an excuse to be soup brain. Their brains are developing still, you know. Uh, anyway, I searched Matt Walsh on YouTube, and the first two videos are him reading the book Johnny the Walrus, along with a bunch of kids. Horrifying. And I now identify as a best-selling children's author. So, you know, we know he's still got the classic jokes. Uh, you know, he's, we, we, we still have, like, the, the bangers. Um, anyway, how, how could I, how could I not go in with the read-along. How could we not? Uh, 420, the video length, very inappropriate for children. Just uh, one of many reasons. He's not uh, responsible enough to be reading this out to kids. In all seriousness, though, um, Matt Walsh is one of the creepier, like, conservative demagogues. He's, he's a lot more open about the fascism, I think. He's, like, really weird and kind of leering, you know? So... He's not the, like, when Lauren Southern came out with um, the kids' book, Lauren Southern at least has, like, trad wife mom vibes. I mean, aesthetically, there's there's something to that. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, also, it was well drawn. Hold on. Lauren Southern. Am I holding water for Lauren Southern? No, no. I wouldn't do that. Um, but I will say that she got, like, Alex Papadopoulos to do the art. Who is a good artist, you know? Looks like a looks like a kid's book. I don't know. Well, let me let me see what the the title for Matt Walsh's or or like what the cover looks like. Pat Papadopoulos. Okay. Uh, all right. A bit of a development. So, I googled Matt Walsh kids book on Google Images, because I'm looking for the cover, and at the top of the page is the ad read, you know, where they're suggesting books on Amazon for me to buy. And, you know, we have some classic ones. Here's the truth about socialism for smart kids. It has a little teddy bear in what looks like a tortured detention cell with like a North Korean hat. You know, classic stuff. Don't bathe with Uncle Joe. Boundaries with adults rejected children's books. This is very cursed. Uh, but then, and I'm really searching for an explanation on this one, the second recommended book is Stop Being N-Wordly and Nine Other Things Black People Need to Stop Doing. This isn't from Matt Walsh. It, I don't even think it's a kid's book. Google just seems to tie Matt Walsh and books to this one. Which might demonstrate, you know, a degree of awareness on, on Google's part, you know, that I am uh, surprised by. I, this word, this is like an adjective or, that means something not racist, but nobody uses it except to say the N-word. You, you know what I mean? I think it means like ornery or something like that, you know, like like testy or something like that. Miserly, miserly, thank you. This is in the ads, not simply results. Yeah, but the ads here are being affected by what I googled because otherwise, uh, Teddy Bear's time in North Korean detention center wouldn't be there. <laughs> Clearly, Matt Walsh is, the writer is black, okay? Is that, okay? I don't, people are saying that in chat, I don't, I don't know how that, okay? 
do you do you understand the relationship between this and that? Okay, whatever. Anyway, the there's the actual art, which is less good than Lauren Southern's, you know. Actually, that word is pretty much completely etymologically separate from the N word. Yeah, I know, but wait, you you guys realize that? Do you do you think it's a coincidence that they chose this word in relation to them talking about black people? Like they were just like, yes, this is the adjective that best represents the. Or do you think there might be? Are you being serious, guys? Holy shit! Do you not understand like any context? Holy fuck! Okay, look, let's just get to the video, man. Okay. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Matt Walsh. Okay, infinitely, right off the bat, worse vibes than any drag queen story hour ever made. Uh, right off the bat, instantly, danger vibes, spidey sense tingling, uh... Any parent watching this should be reaching, you know, for, for the, for the, you know, the pepper spray, I think. I am a children's author, and I've written a book Ooh. called Johnny the Walrus. This book is all about identity and imagination. Mm -hmm. What is identity? Does anyone know what identity means? No. Do you know? You know what, what I mean? do you think these kids are, by the way? Do you think they're all, like, the producer's kids? Like, just the kids from The Office? Or do you think he actually, like, went to a, like a, a like a library story reading? You know what I mean? Like. No? Okay. It's who you are, right? That's what it means. Now, who likes to pretend to be things? Is there anything you like to pretend that's to not, be? That's not really what identity... Okay. How about in the back? I like to pretend to be a... A ninja. That's a good one. What Go about kid. Alright. Well, we all like to use our imagination. Sometimes I use my imagination. I pretend to be a monster. I chase my kids around because I'm big. I'm sorry, I know I'm being so fucking uncharitable for pa by pausing for dramatic effect here, but I- but Matt Walsh is such a creepy fucking weirdo paleocon dude that I feel like I'm justified in doing this. Uh... I, w I just want to say, I wouldn't do it if it was Ben Shapiro. I want I mean that. If Ben Shapiro said, I, and I pretend to be a monster and chase my kids around, rawr, like, I would find that a little endearing. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I would imagine that, like, like, Ben is creepy, kind of like in a debate bro, like, follows the girl after lunch around to explain to her why actually her taste in movies is bad. You know, Matt Walsh, more serial killer vibes, in my opinion. But I just want to say, I wouldn't pause for everyone, okay? I think Matt Walsh is special. Yeah, I, no, I do find Shapiro a little endearing. Yeah, no, the, the, the Ben Shapiro flexing channel. Spe special. Special. There we go. Um, Shapiro flexing. He's got, um... Oh, is he in the Let's Go Brandon shirt here? Oh! Oh, cool. Merch store just dropped. Oh my god, it's the ad. <laughs> such a dork! <laughs> He's such a dork! Oh my god. <laughs> Gun show. Let's let's do this thing. Let's get out of the way. Here we go. Nice. He's, he's putting on muscle. No, we can't. We can't. Wait, no, don't put her in here. She'll scream. Uh, trash bags. No, just downstairs. Pip, pip. Big and ugly, so I could be a monster. That's what this book is about. It's all about a boy who pretends to be a walrus. He identifies as a walrus, and his mom's a little silly. She takes it seriously and thinks he really is a walrus. That's silly, isn't it? So what's? Do you guys get it? Do you guys get the allegory that he's developing on? Do you do you understand? This thing doing all the floor. That's we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna read the book now. Okay. What? Wait, what? Is this thing doing all the? Floor? <laughs> this kid seems really disinterested. Is it like a bug? He's just like, I found a bug. Ah, kid, that's asbestos. Don't worry about it. Don't eat that. In fact, hold your breath. Let me finish. That's, we don't have to worry about that. We're going to read the book now. Okay. <laughs> Johnny's a boy with a big imagination. 
One day, he's I a could dog, draw this. the next day, a crustacean. It's like a crab or, or a lobster. One morning, he came downstairs barking and clapping. Woods. Yeah, Johnny's a, Johnny's a furry. That's the real warning sign, right? It's not the walrus bit specifically, you know, it's it's the it's the furry bit. I, I do appreciate Matt Walsh drawing this himself, though. No, I don't want to be mean to the artist. The artist might be cool. I don't know. Spoons for tusks and sock fins of flapping. He had spoons in his mouth. He was pretending to be a walrus. <laughs> I'm Johnny the walrus, he said with a... Why is Matt Walsh drawn as a baby? Oh. Oh, I didn't even see that. Is this kink at pride discourse? <laughs> he was pretending to be a walrus. <laughs> I'm Johnny the walrus, he said with a roar. The wood floor's my ocean. The carpet's my shore. Oh, okay. Swimming around like oh. a walrus. Isn't that silly? Johnny's mom loves her son's make-believe time. You're Johnny the walrus till you change your mind, mommy says. Okay. But Johnny's mom's phone said it's not just pretend. So she went on her phone and there were people telling her that this isn't pretend. He's really a walrus. <laughs> Only a big. <laughs> it would say that. How dare you offend? What's a bigot? Anybody know? Oh, no. The mean person, right? Mommy was mean person. <laughs> This fucking kids don't give a shit, dude. They're like, they're like, what, what, where's, where's, what, what do, what do kids read? What is it? The, what, what's the one thing? It got turned into a movie. It's the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Where's Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Or something like that. Yeah, now they're gonna use bigot anytime somebody's mean to them. Like a kid like says they're dumb and they're like, you bigot, and then like the fucking teacher's like, wait, hold on. Told to take John for a checkup. All these people are holding signs. Johnny is a real walrus. Oh my god. Says, oh my god. Let Johnny transition. Dude, kids aren't gonna get this, man. This isn't even like an effective way of delivering this messaging to kids because you can't stop using it. It's like it's like conservatives are too stupid to understand ways of analogizing their political points so they have to like so of course here we have the purple haired sjw with the word transition in it kids don't fucking know what that means <laughs> and you have gabe newell over here in the back what is he doing here <laughs> it's it's not for kids it's for parents i don't i i i okay, i guess if it's for parents yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's like they don't understand metaphor, man. Oh, God. Human walruses are real walruses. Let Johnny transition, all these people are saying. You'll need to eat worms and to put on gray makeup. Wait, does anyone here know what transition means? No. Okay, so first they take a scalpel and they draw an incision down the underside of the penis, down through the scrotum. Then they remove the vast deference and they spend 20 minutes on the. <laughs> it's not. It's, that's, that's bottom surgery, not transitioning, but it'd be, you know, it'd be a bit. The worms give you whiskers, the gray blends you in, the doctor says. And a simple procedure. Uh, oh my cuts god! Feet. Holy shit! And we have the, the SJW doctor. Wait, does the kid want this? What what does the kid say? What cause I feel like the kid would be like, oh, I don't want to eat worms. Then he would spit the the spoons out. And he would just like do whatever. Gray blends you in, the doctor says. And a simple procedure cuts feet into fins. The doctor wants Wait, the, to ki cut the kid spat the spoon into out. Johnny and make him into a walrus. It's gross eating worms, Mom. They're all so dang twitchy. He doesn't want Wait, to eat worms. Wait, why is he? Why is he doing this? Wait, what? what is the allegory here? Like a, a a little boy puts on makeup and then like the doctor forces? Well, they do believe that, don't they? They do believe that. They they do think that. They think like if a if a kid ever so much as like wears, a, like if a little boy wears a skirt that like some sort of gender doctor will like swoop in and like steal the kid and force them into years of surgery or whatever. Oh, God. 
felt bad for you. I thought I didn't eat worms, but I did. What a based fucking kid. The kid's challenging Matt Walsh. Hey, I have eaten worms. What's next? What else do you have for me? Wood spoons kind of hurt, and the makeup is itchy. Deep down, Johnny's mom it, knew that something was wrong. Look at Johnny. Really? He's, he's dressed up like a walrus, but he's not having a fun time. But she felt so much pressure, she just went along. What, what about the, the internet kid? people knew just what to do. She went back to the internet to look for answers. Never a good idea. No! And mommy was told to take John to the zoo. Now she's going to take her son to go live at the zoo like he's a real walrus. I don't want to live at the zoo. When Johnny arrived, the walruses grunted. And the mommy says, my boy's a real walrus. His growth was just stunted. What is the she allegory? really thinks this kid is a walrus. But he's not. No. The zookeeper thought, what's she talking about? Ma'am, that's just a boy with wood spoons in his mouth. Now he's the voice of reason. Yeah. Right? Okay, these these are were these are cut in. These are not the kids' reactions. They had to get they they had to get the kid yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I believe that, they'll I love say that, that it's I'm him phobic. too. Protecting your son, ma'am. Is what's most heroic. Phobic and heroic. Holy shit. Phobic in a kid's thing? Phobic. Not just a word they don't know, but a a but a a a, 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 a abbreviate or like a, a like you've cut it in half. At last, Johnny's mommy was able to see that Johnny's not what he's pretending to be. But now mommy didn't he ignores not want the to? mean things on her phone while Johnny pretends he's a bird flying home. The end. What, okay. wait, what is the... Wait, what is the lesson at the, wait, so wait, now is he bird gender? Wait, what is the, what does any of this mean? What, what does any of this shit mean, man? Uh... No, he said it earlier, people online told his mom a well-meaning mother was duped by evil transgender SJWs. Yeah, yeah, okay, but, like, what about the kid? Like, the kid didn't seem... After the kid said, I am a walrus, woo-woo, and had a picture taken of him, the kid had no input whatsoever. Did the kid want to eat the worms? If not, why didn't he stop? What Was, was the kid like, I don't want to eat the worms, and the mom was like, no, you have to. The people on Instagram said that you have to, or I'm a big, like... Pfft. I, 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 I don't want to dig into this too hard because it's obviously really stupid, but I am genuinely astounded by the incompetence with which this was put together. Like, they paid an artist, they had it published, like, it's on sale. Like, how do you not put a little more effort? Not even just the quality of the art, but, like, the language used betrays such an incredible incompetence in using allegory to deliver a political message. No, I just sat down and wrote it. There's another one there. We got a bunch of them. They're gonna be all over the place soon enough. You can ask no the parents doubt. to buy it for you. Um, is there is there a particular ending we're looking for here? Or just he's so bad with kids. The kids didn't give a fuck at the beginning. They didn't give a fuck at the end. Just kids like, are we? Can we go? I want nap. I want g gushers. I want sour worms like falling over, like rolling around. Yeah, get these kids out of my sight. Oh my god. Yeah, the kids look bored as shit. Because what the fuck was there in there for the kids? Uh, like, Matt's half-hearted like, Kids, is he a walrus? And then they cut to a separate take where they tell all the kids to cheer. God damn. Oh, man. Well, now we know. The whole political allegory went over their heads entirely. Well, because it was incompetently delivered. It was completely incompetently delivered. I could absolutely design better propagandistic children's books. But I never would because I'm not a hack who can only, uh, uh, like, propagate my political ideology through people whose fucking prefrontal cortexes haven't developed yet. Well, I guess actually, since your your brain stops developing in, like, your early 20s and all of you are, like, 15, then maybe I do. But, you know, at least you're not all four. <laughs> at least you're not all four or whatever. Uh, that was good.
when are we making the kids? I don't want to make a kid. Actually, well, I've always thought that making a kid's book would be really cool, but not as a political propaganda. I always just thought, like, I think it's really cool when kids' books scare the shit out of kids. I don't know. I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a formative experience, you know? You know when you're watching a cartoon or reading, like, a book or something, and it's like this, it's like a baby book or cartoon, and then there's just some fucked up shit that happens two-thirds of the way in? Like, Courage the Cowardly Dog tier, you know? We are... We were like, and then as a kid, like you remember that for years afterwards. I always thought that was funny, you know. I have a plugin that reads dislikes from the YouTube API and it only has 99 dislikes. First of all, yeah, PragerU viewers have bought the sauce. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Tempest. Second of all, who the fuck is going to dislike on YouTube now that they know it'll never show up? Like, what incentive is there to ever dislike now? Like, oh, you're contributing invisibly to an algorithm? Like, people like seeing the dislike number go up if they dislike it. Shoo, you just missed some spectacular uh, children's propaganda from Matt Walsh. You, your ovaries would have exploded. He was demonstrating some phenomenal paternal skills, you know? Seriously, it's, it's good content. It's, it's like Johnny the Walrus, and he's trans walrus kin trans walrus gender i still think that was all cgi i don't think they let him around kids do you think it lies like that whitest kids you know skit where at the end they revealed that the white actors had never been near the black actor like for safety or whatever um you know like through the magic of cgi and then like he just he fades i was never in harm's way for a moment isn't technology wonderful <laughs>